With the upcoming release of Matrix Resurrections, we decided to recap the classic trilogy. Three videos for three movies, starting with The Matrix. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Thomas Anderson is a programmer who works for Metacortex, one of the most prestigious software companies in the world. But at night, he's a depressed hacker named Neo who sells illegal programs to people from the underworld. Neo spends his nights investigating Morpheus and his group of criminal hackers. He is then contacted by someone from this gang who tells him to follow the White Rabbit. Follow the White Rabbit. Neo follows a woman with a rabbit tattoo to a nightclub, and there he meets Trinity, one of the most infamous hackers in the world. Hello, Neo. How do you know that name? I know a lot about you. She tells Neo that she can help him find the truth if he wishes. The next day, Neo arrives late to work and is later chased by agents in Metacortex, as they suspect that he may know where the leader of the criminal gang, Morpheus, is. Neo received a cell phone in the mail, and Morpheus himself calls him and tries to help him escape the agents. The cubicle across from you is empty. What, what is there? Go, now! But Mr. Anderson is caught, and then interrogated by Agent Smith. The agent offers him a new life, in exchange for him helping them catch Morpheus. Thomas refuses the offer, and the agents do something to his mouth and then stick a tracking device through his navel. Thomas wakes up in his apartment, thinking that it was all a dream, but then he receives another call from Morpheus, who has sent members of his team to pick him up and take him to meet him, but not before removing the tracking device from his body, of course. Thomas Anderson meets the mysterious Morpheus, who offers him the truth and what the Matrix is, if Neo takes the red pill. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Neo takes the red pill, and his reality collapses. He awakens in a nightmarish-like world where thousands of humans are connected to artificial pods. He is rescued by Morpheus and his team on the Nebuchadnezzar. As days go by, Neo has questions, and Morpheus connects him to a computer simulation to explain. The world as it was at the end of the 20th century. It exists now only as part of a neural interactive simulation that we call the Matrix. There was a war between machines and humans. The humans covered up the sky to prevent sunlight from entering. It was the machine's main source of energy. The humans still lost the war, and the machines converted the surviving humans into batteries. They found their new source of energy. Neo lived his entire life, thinking that he lived in the real world. But since birth, he has been inside a computer simulation. No. I don't believe it. It's not possible. Now he is a soldier in the war between man and machine. Neo's training begins. He learns how to fight, how to bend the rules of the Matrix, and learns how dangerous the agents are. Anyone we haven't unplugged is potentially an agent. Inside the Matrix, they are everyone, and they are no one. Then his true purpose is explained. The prophecy of the One. The first human to escape the Matrix was thought to have superhuman abilities and began to free the first humans from the Matrix. The Savior eventually died, but a prophecy was established. The Savior would return and destroy the Matrix. Morpheus thinks that Neo is the one. I won't lie to you, Neo. Every single man or woman who has stood their ground, everyone who has fought an agent has died. But where they have failed, you will succeed. As Neo adjusts to the real world, Cypher, one of Morpheus's team members, makes a deal with Agent Smith to deliver Morpheus in exchange to return to the simulation with a better life. Neo is then taken to meet the Oracle, an elderly mystic who reveals the future. This fortune teller talks to Neo about Trinity, Morpheus, the One, but she does not tell him that he is the One. She says that he has the talent, but perhaps he would be the One in his next life. Neo believes that he is not the One. The crew is ambushed by cops and agents. Cypher left open a tracker for the enemies to follow, 
and the agents capture Morpheus. Cypher escapes first and begins to kill the other members of the Nebuchadnezzar, but is miraculously stopped before he could kill Neo. Now Neo must go and save Morpheus. Morpheus is being interrogated for the Zion Codes. Zion, the last human city in the real world. With these codes, the machines can destroy the resistance. Neo and Trinity attack the building where Morpheus is being held, and Neo demonstrates abilities never seen in a red pill. How did you do that? Do what? You moved like they do. I've never seen anyone move that fast. <sighs> Wasn't fast enough. He moves as fast as the agents. Then against all odds, they rescue Morpheus. The trio escapes to a train station where Trinity now decides to give some exposition instead of quickly escaping. Agent Smith arrives and destroys the exit before Neo can escape. But this time, he does not run. Neo decides to fight the agent, but an agent cannot be defeated so easily. Now Neo runs to escape the simulation, but is caught by Smith, who kills him. Back on the ship, Trinity confesses that he cannot be dead because the Oracle prophesied that she would fall in love with the One. Trinity kisses Neo, and he revives. Now Neo can see the Matrix for what it is. He is the One. Neo stops a hail of bullets, fights Smith, and destroys him. Neo escapes the Matrix seconds before the machines called Sentinels are about to destroy the ship. Morpheus activates the only defense they have against these machines, an EMP, and destroys them. Neo and Trinity kiss, and then Neo gives a warning to the machines, telling them that he is going to reveal the truth to humanity. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. Neo flies up to the sky, thus proving that the prophecy of the One was true, and that the war has just begun. Stay tuned for the recap of Matrix Reloaded. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.